Hello ghouls, gals, and hobby pals, I'm Zambies, and welcome to Painting Necromancy. Tis the spooky season. In this video, I'm going to show you my process on how I created a haunted house graveyard diorama scene. Cut to my hobby desk. I was able to find the dollhouse at my local dollar store, which cost me, well, of course, one whole dollar. I picked up the graveyard fence and ghost that I used in here with a few headstones from Reaper Miniatures. I also found these LED lights at the dollar store, which gave me the idea to add a glowing element to this piece. I cracked everything open and began laying out my floor plan. I wanted to see how big of an area I was going to work with and make sure everything fit together. After I was happy with how everything was laid out, I measured the area so I could cut out a piece of foam board for it all to sit on. Now this foam board is insulation foam that you can get at any hardware store. I made a few markers for where everything was going to go. I also realized that I had this Halloween tree from Reaper Miniatures I thought would look good by the house, so I decided to add that. Since I was going to weather and make this scene very dark, I didn't care much about the mold lines. I did clean off any major noticeable bits and sanded parts down, but kind of left them be. Then it was time to plan out and mark where I wanted the lights to go. So underneath, I carved a network for them to sit into. As I began chipping away from the foam, I remembered how fun and incredibly messy this part is. Using an embossing tool, I started to create a pathway pattern and uneven ground by indenting into the foam with light pressure. I grabbed my handy dandy hot glue gun that has seen much better days and I started to glue it all down. I used the extra bits of foam to create rocky formations. And then I grabbed PVA glue and a mixture of dirt and tiny rocks to spread around for some more texture. Once everything was mostly dry, I used Monument's Fine Basing Texture Paint to fill in any gaps and add a grungy texture to some other areas. And then it was time to prime. So, admittedly, I failed filming this part because I wanted to rattle can it quick before the rain came in, which I later realized I missed some spots. So I ended up brush priming over it with some craft black paint. I used a mixture of brown, red, and dirty green to paint the ground. As I dried, I took some gray and started dry brushing the house and stones. Using a dark silver, I overbrushed all the metal pieces. I decided to add some rusty effects for a little pop of color. And I'll list all the colors and supplies I used in this piece in the video description below. Then I brought more green back in some mossy areas. And the painting part was done. By this point, I ended up finding darker LED lights, and I decided to use them instead. I tried to carefully poke them through the holes to put them into place. I did end up having to go back and repaint a few areas. 
I didn't really like the look of the back of the house showing, so I decided to cover it with a piece of black cardstock for now. I started adding some autumn leaves around using PVA glue. And I don't think I mentioned it before, but the little plastic tree is actually a stem from fake flowers that I ripped the petals off of. I used the leaves to cover up the base of the tree as well when I glued that on. And then the last part was to add the gravestones and the ghosts. Unfortunately, when I thought I was recording while painting these models, I in fact wasn't. So that is a lesson to learn for future videos. Here is my completed graveyard scene. I hope you all enjoy it as much as I do. I had a lot of fun making this and I can't wait to make something else. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to see more of my work, well, please hit the subscribe button! Welcome to painting necromancy. <laughs> Getting spooky with it.